Oh, there it is. I think that's the one to end on right there. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I've been missing. Just sweet. I love it. This, this is the new TaylorMade performance. Yeah, there We're we gonna go. take you in here today. We're gonna run you through a full bag wow. fit. And you're gonna, be, you're gonna be one of the first people, if not the first person to come in here. It's crazy. And literally unlock this new area. I um, hope I do it well, man. The team, worked, the team worked really hard day and night. I have to give a shout out to the employees here. I know, I heard. For staying late, making sure this all happened. And you know, it came out absolutely incredible and we can't, we can't wait to throw you through this thing. I mean, one of these in the, in the house. Yeah, you know, I think you build a simulation room. Yeah. We got a floor. We I don't know if it'll be as good as this. We got a floor plan for okay. you. We can do a condensed condensed version. This is so, awesome. Again, thanks for coming by. And Dude, thanks for having me. Let's I jump in, man. Let's I'm go. Ex I'm excited. Let's do it. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Kyle. Mark. Nice to meet you, man. I'm with TaylorMade. We're going to go through a little fitting today. I need How's that it. sound? That sounds great. Let's do it. So we spent just a little bit of time talking about your game, kind of some, what are some of your goals, what you like to see in a certain shot, but most importantly, have you been fit before? I have been fit before, it's been a while, but um, I think it's time for a refitting for sure. Awesome, well, we're gonna take a deep dive into things. We're gonna look at some tendencies. Yeah, I've been trying to hit a little bit of a draw, so falling more left, but mm -hmm. for me, it's all about like keeping it low. I need to be able to penetrate more. If I get a windy day sometimes, like I'm screwed because I hit such high spinny balls. So. For sure, yeah. for sure. Especially that high shot to the right, that one's gonna generate No a lot one likes spin. that one. Yeah. So, um, I've watched you hit a few already. Let's take a Take a look at a few more cool. swings here. We'll take a look at some of the numbers and see where we can uh, improve on some things. Right, sweet. There's the one to the right. All right, let's see what kind of spin rate that generates. Yeah, pretty good distance out of it, spinning 2,900, so. Where do you like to see it normally? Um, so a shot that's falling right like that, that's not too bad. Yeah. Um, but if we're gonna go try aim for the middle of the fairway based on the speeds you're generating right now, I'd love to see a sub 25. Sub 25? Yep. All right. All right, you turn that one over a little bit more. We should probably see those spin rates drop just a little bit there. Yeah, a little bit of a weak off the heel, hitting everything a little low. Yeah, so that one was sitting right there at 2200. The one number that I'm looking at through that though is that launch angle. I know yeah. you like to see it pretty low. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna challenge you a little bit through this process, see if we can get that launch angle a little bit higher. That last one was 5.4, um, so. Where do, you like, where do you like that one at? So the shot before that was there at seven. Okay. Um, so if we could get you closer to nine, 10, 11, okay. I know it might be a little bit different window than you're used All to right. seeing, but if we're gonna try to find more fairways, we, we gotta increase that carry distance. Okay. Um, versus trying to just anticipate it's just gonna roll all the way out to where you need it to be. Get that one higher for you. There you go. Yeah, the higher we hit it, the more control that we're gonna see with it. Yeah, and, for and sure. Find some fairways, so. Yeah, that one see where that one much more carry, out. yeah. Was um, spin. Spin's low too. Spin wow. was low. Carry distance, we jumped over 300. So um, you set the bar pretty high. So I'll kind of walk you through the three different heads that we have in our family this okay. year that you're going to get a chance to experience. So um, QILS, this is going to be the lowest spinning head we have. This is one that I definitely want you to hit based on some of the goals that you have here. Okay. Um, these heads, they work in order of forgiveness as well. So then there's the, the QI, the core model. This is going to be more of a medium spin, medium launch. And then this one is, is the beast this year. This is the QI Max. This is the most forgiving one out there with 10K of inertia. So okay. you're going to get a chance to hit all three of these different heads. Right. So fun thing between all of them as well is they've got pro progressive lie angles. So okay, we'll cool. talk about lie angles in your irons a little bit. But okay. um, the LS heads, it's the flattest, the core heads neutral, and then the Max heads a little bit upright. Okay, so cool. as we fit, we'll get you dialed in with loft fly and shaft here. Sweet. So we'll, we'll start it in the LS head. That one felt a little better, just a little bit of a push. And that might be expected with this head. So as we talked about the different lie angles in here, this one sits just a little bit flatter. Okay. So one of the tendencies we've seen with certain players is it does have a little bit more of a fade bias to it. So let me make one little tweak to this head here. So loft is gonna be one of the most important things that we're gonna take a look at here. I'm gonna take this loft from nine degrees and set it one click higher, which is gonna take it to nine and three quarters. That okay. should add some more spin back to okay. this. Right now at this point, I'm seeing too low a spin for you. I Interesting. Know we probably didn't think that was possible when you came in here today, but um, that's what we're seeing so far. 
Did you feel like you had to work a little bit more to get that one at least starting left? Well, they're all going right, so I'm like, maybe I should just try and hit a cut, huh? <laughs> you, you keep being you. I'm, I'm going to change some different things here. So um, this one was just overcutting a little bit too much for, I think, for what we both like to see out of it. Put you in the core head here now. Thanks. So this one should launch a little bit higher, spin just a little bit more, a um, little bit more neutral bias to the head as well. I feel like I smoked that. I didn't feel like that at all. I thought so too. We're gonna put the max head on there now. So far between the two heads, when you set them on the ground, is there one that you like the look of better? I mean, they look pretty similar, to be honest with you. I haven't noticed much of a difference with either of those. Per personal preference is huge. If it's uh, if it's something we don't like the look of, sometimes our confidence isn't there. Yeah, for sure. But also, if, if you love the look of it, there you get a little more confidence yeah. out of it. Let's see this one. Of the three heads, this one's the most forgiving. This is going to be the mm. one that's going to be the easiest to turn over here. It's probably what I'm going to need. Launched at Key. 10, spun at 1600. Okay. So even low on that spin rate right there. Cool. What is it? Is it a nine right now? On the club? I know. Yep. It's forgiving, that's for sure. I feel like this one feels the best out of all of them, for sure, so far. Yeah, the numbers for are me. saying the exact same thing. So, yeah. Like, from a numbers perspective on that last one, that's a good range to live in. So, yeah. you're swinging 120. I've seen you top off at 124. So, mm -hmm. if you got a serious amount of club head speed that we're taking advantage of here. So, um, one other thing that I'm looking at here is kind of your angle of attack, kind of seeing how you're coming into that golf ball and how you're striking it. Uh -huh. That's going to tell us a lot about spin rates as well at the same okay. time. So you've been on the positive side of things, which is really, really good to see. 2100 on backspin right there, that's, that's solid. a perfect yeah. number to have you live at for where you're launching it at cool. about nine. So I like where we're going with this one. You Sweet. can hit a couple more. Yeah. You hit a straight one, let's go. <laughs> Great carry distance there, good total distance. Yeah, that was, felt the best for sure. Look at that, 11 with yeah. no spin. Perfect, 310 in the air going out to 334, and there you topped off at 124 miles an hour of club head speed. Mm -hmm. So, all around great numbers. So now that you've hit all three heads, if we simply look at dispersion, the max head was probably clearly yeah. had the tightest dispersion for between sure. the three. I agree. So, love to see that. Now we're gonna spend some time kind of fine tuning that head and finding a good shaft that, okay. that pairs with it. All right, so I'm gonna put you in something that's just gonna be a little bit stiffer here. It's so pretty. <laughs> we'll get there, <laughs> we'll get there. I had to tease you with those a little bit. So we're still sticking with nine degree here on, on standard loft. So yeah. we'll give you the, the new Ventus. Um, TR Black. This is one you've probably seen out there on tour before. You've cool. got a lot of guys like Rory and, and Scotty are in the Ventus family here. Okay, cool. so. That one felt good, man. Awesome. Yeah, I want to put something in your hands that you're comfortable just going at as hard as you can. Um, the first shaft that we started you in might have been just a little bit too soft. That's kind of why we saw that, okay. that two-way miss come out of there. That one was even better. So launched at 11, spun at 2200. Good yeah. ball speed coming out at 175. That one felt good. Yeah, so that, that's the thing that's going to happen when you try to turn these shots over, those spin rates are going to really drop to a point where that golf ball can't stay in the air any longer. Okay. Um, so that's something we're going to talk about golf ball a lot today. Okay. Um, because golf ball is so important and we can change numbers a lot by just simply putting a different golf ball yeah. in there. So we're hitting TP5X right now and still seeing it spin. 1100 on a shot to the left. Yeah. That's too low. Okay. So hit one more. I'm going to grab some TP5s here because I want to see how those numbers change. So a little cut there. Let's see what that one's spun at. Yeah, 2400. So that was kind of the target when we started saying if we could get you to live there, yeah. you'd be in a good spot. Oh, that's just straight off the. The bottom of the club, it's still good. Still, I mean, I hit a spinny shot and it was still only like 2,700. It's really not bad. There we go. Good one there. Drawing back down the center line. 
Solid launch angle, still low spin. So is all the like, draws are normally lower spins than if you're hitting a cut, is that? Yeah, so that that's too low at 1500. Yeah, um, for So sure. I'm gonna give you a shaft that's actually just gonna spin just a little bit more, launch a little bit more as well. Okay. It's coming in here, when we talk, you're like, I'm just spinning it too much, I'm spinning it too much, and, and we got you spinning it actually the complete opposite. <laughs> yeah. So let's, uh, it's a lot more fun when we can just add spin back into yeah. the equation. No, I'm not used to that for sure. Yeah, that's Great ball flight though on that last one. That's I'll take that one any day. Can you feel a difference between those two shafts at all? I, I mean, I just that was the best contact I've made with any of them so far. A little slight difference. A little bit softer, a little bit smoother, yeah. not as harsh feeling. Yeah. Good, drawing back nicely. Yeah, that's better spin for a draw, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a dangerous place to live, especially depending on the golf courses you're playing. That's going to run out, give you even more total distance out of it. All right, I've got one more shaft I want you to hit here in the Ventus family. We okay. hit the black, we hit the blue, and now this is the red. Okay, cool. um, I know when we started, you said you like to see that low ball flight. I'm challenging you a little bit to try to see I something know. a little bit higher here. I'm used to um, the high ones going. But these are going high and straight, not high and right anymore. There we go. So. How'd that one feel? Felt good. I hit a little low on the face, but. Yeah. So I, I want to show you something, because where we hit it on the face is so important. We know that centeredness of contact is probably the most important yeah. thing out there. So if we look at this, you've kind of lived in this part of the face. That's Seems a really good place to live. Seems solid. It feels lower sometimes. Was this the last one right here? Yeah, that was the last one. Interesting. So as we look at a driver face, there's more loft up top and there's less loft on the bottom. Yeah. Um, so when we're seeing some of those shots where, like that last one, why did that one come out low and spun a little bit more? Yeah. Bottom of the face. Okay. Um, so these two shots that you hit, those are absolutely perfect. So Sweet. from a launch and spin perspective, I'm always kind of looking at that in the back of my mind to say, okay, where's he hitting it? Yeah. Is it in a good spot to help generate the numbers we're looking for? Interesting. There we go. What do you know? This one definitely feels the best out of all of them so far though. Good. So at the speeds you're swinging, we're still kind of seeing a little bit of that two-way miss in play. I'm gonna give you something a little bit heavier. Because okay. um, what it almost seems like is, your number one thing is, I just want to put it in play. I just want to hit For the sure, fairway. That's why and I'm trying to hit the lower ones. So I'm gonna move you from 60 grams up to 70 grams here. Okay. When I was kind of looking through your irons as well, you're, you're playing some heavy iron shafts. For sure, there. yeah, so, everything's pretty um, heavy. Like we talked about earlier, you love to, to use your hands and try to find impact each and every time. So um, putting something in your hands that, where you can feel the entire club here. How does that feel in your hands? It's all good. I think both of those were a little high on the face, but I like it. Feels good. So I like where we're at with the max head and, and this yeah. Ventus and a little bit heavier shaft. I wanna actually go back to the LS head for a moment here, okay. just because there's some things that we can do with that head to give it a fair chance in the okay, fight. Okay, cool. And it's also nice to have it to compare it against something. So yeah. um, we've got the sliding weight track here. I'm gonna put that weight down in the heel. Um, okay. You keep talking about this one where I left the face open, I left the face yeah, open. Yeah. So the more weight we put in the heel, lets the toe move a little bit faster and helps you cool. square it up. So. Loft sleeve as well. I'm gonna set this just a little bit higher okay. and a little bit upright. So we know this head sits a little bit more flat. So this is gonna get us closer back to where we were in the max, but also help you square up that Sweet. face as well. I like it. So if there's something that's gonna beat that max head. It's gonna be this, this one, all right. Right down the middle. Let's see what the numbers look like on that one. Tell me where that hit on the face, because to me that felt a little high. Really so launched at 14, probably the highest launch we've seen out of you. Spun at 1700. Um, GC Quad would like those numbers. You might not. It actually did not pick up okay. impact on that last one. But felt, ba based high, on but... the numbers that we're seeing, seeing that height of launch and that low of spin, you most likely caught that one super high up on the face. Okay. Um, felt impact a there that would produce a shot like that. Yeah. So let's go back to that max head one more time. It okay. seems like this head, you're just working a little bit too hard to try to get it to yeah. turn over for your liking. And we were able to produce that ball flight you like a lot easier with the max cool. head. You made it for people like me, man. The people that need <laughs> forgiveness. The moment you come into fitting, 
We can see all your numbers. We can see who you are. <laughs> yeah, there's you no can't hide here. anything. Back right down the middle That's of the fairway. That's perfect. I think we, I think we figured it out. We got it. Look at him. He's pin high, five feet left. Let's go. <laughs> um, but move. launch angle, 8.7, spinning 2,000. Yeah, great that numbers great. right there. Um, that one was swing great. 120, 296 out to 331. So, that one felt good. Awesome. Let's see if we can replicate it. All right, so this last one I want you to hit here. I know you're going to play golf later today. You're on the first <laughs> tee. Okay. I want you to go through your routine just like you do out there on the golf course. The routine is not much there, but <laughs> I got you. Put yourself in that Hold position. On, I gotta find and... the course I'm playing. All right, I know the tee shot. Okay, there we go. There you go. That's gonna play. It's in play. Down oh, the left side. That's gonna be good. We'll take that. That's a good visual, actually. <laughs> I think I needed to like so, know that I need to get it in a fairway. Yeah, sometimes when you're in a fitting, it's like when you're at the driving range and you're just sitting there oh, hitting just ball launching. after ball. Yeah. Sometimes we just have to break that routine and spin was 2000, that was great. 288 going up to 315, so. I know um, you don't like that launch angle, but I like that one right there. Oh, there it is. It's in front of you, over 300, max forgiveness. Yeah, so, I think this is the one, man. This I love one. it. This Love one it. Feels great. All right, last thing. Three wood. Need it. <laughs> so three wood's the hardest club in the bag to fit. And the reason being is it has two different purposes. You hit it off the deck and you hit it off the tee. For sure. Where do you typically hit three wood or a fairway wood from? Are you trying to go for par fives? It's tough. I don't know. I was using a driver and iron to kind of fit that 250. And I like it. It's been working mm -hmm. well. So I would guess this would be more of a off the ground club. Yep. But I'd still like, could use it off the tee too. If Sweet. I get comfortable enough and just throw it on the ground on the tee box and hit it, you know? So in the family of fairway woods, there's three heads just like there are with the driver. Okay. Um, I started you in the tour head. This is gonna be the lowest launching, lowest spinning head. Um, I'm gonna put you in the core head here. Cool. It's gonna be a little bit easier to hit off the deck. A um, little bit deeper face to it. Sweet. Yeah, because when you're hitting this into a par five, you want this carrying as much as you possibly can. And especially if there's any trouble out there, you want to get it over that. I'll take that. <laughs> over the back of the range there. So we can carry do that. distance 262 going out to 285. Yeah. Um, one thing you'll note on that last one, spin was super low. Um, right. And we're swinging a 13 degree fairway wood here right now. So. This is something where you might hit three wood too far, yeah. and you could almost just benefit possibly from a five wood. Yeah, I wouldn't um, mind that. Which yeah. comes in at 18 degrees. You're gonna get that launch. You're, it's about carry distance for you. It's for not sure. about total distance. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that might be a good, good thing to try. Five wood. It almost took to the end of the fitting, but you hit one up through a higher window that I like to see, and you finally said, that's what I like. So, oh, it's good. We're, we're I getting want, you I there. I want this to land on a green and sit. We're getting you there. <laughs> I'm PTSD from hitting too many high balls out of bounds. There we go, that one felt good. Yeah, this is gonna go the distance you need, but it's just flying through that, that yeah, different window, a yeah. little bit more height to it. We've talked yeah. about height, you're getting control. Um, yeah, carry distance 250 on that last one. So, yeah, that's felt like if you need to get a little bit more out of it, you, you absolutely right. can. Yeah, it's just better, like, it's more controllable, you know? And the fun thing with that one is that one is adjustable. Um, so if you find yourself hitting a little bit too high, it's got the loft sleeve, you can always okay. dial it back. Plus there's a sliding weight track on the bottom where we can add spin or take away spin Sweet. and um, change the launch window. But 262 in the air, there's pretty good. I think that's the one to end on right there. A straight ball. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I think that's what I've been missing. Just yeah, I think we we go from a three wood, we put a five wood in a bag, and then we'll uh, we'll fill in the gap there with a, a driving iron between. Sweet, so. I love it. Thank you, Worldwide Golf. Thanks, TaylorMade, for coming out here and fitting me, getting me all new clubs, getting me right. If you guys need to get fitted, come to the Roger Dunn here in Santa Ana, the Disneyland of golf. Come get fitted. It's the best decision you'll make.